where he's kind of been working with Wei in these early stages. Back against Gala and Ming. Wei is around mid here. Faker, not sure if the W or the Shroud is on cooldown, but here he comes. Comes the Q. Walking into the Shroud, waiting for his jungle to arrive. Just waiting. He has so much time from the Shroud, and now they're committing to the fight. They want to get a Xiaohu flashing out. Faker flashing out. Way in the area. The Way wants to finish the job. Oh, Turrican flip over the wall. Rap for free aggroing. Little auto attacks. Little chickens trying to knock him down, but it will not happen. Xiaohu stepping forward is a big risk. Faker going over the wall. It's a massive escape. Does he have the execute? Time is ticking. He needs to get towards this tower. Way doesn't have flash. Does he have trying to get away from a Faker. Whoa! I have never seen a player die. Last game was the exact same, just permanent trading. Every time you walk up to the Raven, this meeting matchup, Silas can do this. Full committing. Ulti up and available. Faker, where is he going to go again? He's just waiting as long as humanly possible. Now the whole committal. Xiaohu, the interrupt coming in from Owner. Breeze coming over the wall. He has the ulti up. Dark and Blade, one pack to connect. Owner now caught in. Infernal Chain going to pull it back. And that is it. First blood for RNG. Beautiful combo by Breeze onto Owner. Karriak could look for the flashing knife Q here. Trying to finish it. Oh, snipes down. Gooba and Karia make themselves known in the mid lane. T1 say anything you could do, we could do better. Moving Guma Yushi up gets the kill, but again we go. Oh, oh the sidestep! Look at the way he moves, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be enough. No, they're turning on the way! How can he do this to TK? It's just so damn fast! Oh, he goes! Karia and Guma Yushi! Extremely quiet since the end of spring, since the end of MSI, but they're stepping up here. Breathe has no flash. Saves. Waiting. This is the first Q. That's going to be big. Buys him a bit more time. Stun now going to connect. Saves can take his time. Going for the style. Finish. Swords hit left and right. Breathe. No way out of this one. Trying to heal up a little bit more, but no. What? Wait. Does he? Oh. It looked like Breathe, but he just barely got in over the back. The dive bolt. Gala has summoners. He's TP'd here with his spell book. Looks like he's just covering for now, but here comes the W to get the stall on Sagala. See if they can commit to the full dive. Baker does manage to land it. Big damage now coming into Gala. He's gonna get the healing off the Sever. Ball flashing out to safety, trying to finish the job. But Karia there to eat up Faker. Gala is nearly flawless play, but they're just too damn strong. Faker, the shield is gonna fade away. Karia, the shield is going Gala! Oh, being on the chase now as well, but they've locked up there. What is this? It's madness on the bottom side. T1. Are they able to find the kill on the main Xiaohu now as well? It just does not stop. This game is a bloodbath. GT1 Game 3 has exploded and we're not done yet! Top dive coming in, owner has the ult, Zeus does as well, Breathe lets the wave crash, looks like he's gonna clear it out, but he's not safe just yet, the Sejuani's hiding in that bush, Breathe! Oh. Breathe might just be his last breath here and there is the Yone! Finding it, Breathe oh. still healing! On the dragon, owner has Herald, see if Zeus goes for the Q3, dashes away, Herald's propped. Again, Dark and Blade up and available. He's waiting. He knows the second he shows his cooldown, the second he uses that first Q, they'll know exactly where the next one goes. They are zipping through it, diving through it, trying to finish off the job, and they will be able to do so. Leaping out, but gets taken down in the end. Owner going to try to finish this tower. One for one in the dive. Xiao is TPing in. Owner has to flash, but I don't think Xiao Hu can gap close in time. He's able to turn around these dives. Uh -oh. Same as RNG did on bot side. Area has the sweeper. They're in the next brush. Ming, Ming stepping forward. Oh. Lock him up, trying to lock down the bars. The silence going down as well. The top can't eat him. He's trying to run for his life. Goomba flashing out. Goomba. Take it down! Gala finds the kill! The Tom Kenji was around five seconds! Any moment a fight could break out, or four people will show up on the bottom side, seemingly out of thin air, just to all in each oh. other. Ming waiting over the wall. This is a bit precarious, because the Tom Kenji now coming in follow-up. Ming caught in no man's land. That's the stun. That's Fulp Carry. doesn't quite make it over the wall. Stun still get the tongue lash, though. That's the stun, and it's more than enough, but now they're looking to get a little bit more. Xiaohu caught out here. Stack first on that one. Flash out to safety. Find the area. This is so frustrating on the top side, as you see as well, for Breathe. He's Constantly on a ward. Oh, hold that thought. Spotted out. Oh! The blue spike didn't stop the base. He just got the recall off in time. Kumayushi barely escapes with his life. And that is the difference of half a second. Wei loses the alt cooldown too. That is devastating. But now Xiaohu connects on the chains. Crown gonna fade away. Breathe. On the top side, owner. Oh, he's dead. Looking to find the play. Breathe. He has to try to find a way. That is when there's just too much CC. Take it out. Zeus finds another kill. Even through the Soraka ultimate. T1's RNG to one area while they're doing something else on the map. Bob tier 1 will fall. Zeus has the TP. If T1 want to take this 5v5, they can take it. Here comes the TP. Wow, they've already broken bot lane. Purely positive trade for the side of T1. It's just smoke and mirrors, isn't it? But now they're engaging. Locking up the breath, breathe. That's gonna be big way now stepping forward as well. This is Juani now making it up. Safety devour. That denies the buy. The stun gonna follow up over the wall. Comes the Yone. Big in the midst of the entire team now running, trying to make his way out, but the A trucks will fall. Gala, the last man standing. The fancy footwork, not enough yet.
tower laid down, perfect guns to try to turn the fight, but for now, T1 massively ahead in the exchange. We'll slowly start to stack them up. I feel like the last few games, what we've seen is Baron dances into Dragon, and I think starting to stack these up now will benefit T1, of course. Carrier. Carrier cut out, good damage. Xiaohu coming off to the side, gonna steal the bars off, and get a little oh. block of but he whiffs! It's a massive whiff, and it costs him so much, the play disappearing. Faker hunting for more away now, has to go, and he has no choice. Breathe on the backside, now running for his life as well. T1 taking another exchange, and another ult goes wide. RNG cannot find a target. Harold set up in the mid lane, pressure on for both sides. Everyone on RNG knowing that a single misstep could cost them. Breathe on the flank. The gate goes a little bit wide. They're trying to lock him down. Chao, who now stepping forward. Carry off to the side, now trying to make it out. Kuma still standing on the back line, and in goes the Yone. The damage is massive. The Soraka healing, will it be enough? But no, the Aatrox falling down. Gala, can he be the difference maker? He takes down the Herald. They're on the retreat, but here. Oh, Carry! Okay, Carry still stands. He goes golden. He does it with style. It's a slaughter. It's a wipe on RNG. T1 clean house. Deus falls, but RNG didn't have the damage to deal with the skirmish. T1 just run them down. Mid lane push into bot, but there's no wave just yet. Dragon's up in 40 seconds, which will be the exit objective, but they want to force here a little bit. Wave. Not scared, okay. though. Stepping forward, taking a lot of damage here. He's just getting shredded. Gumi Yushi damage is out of control. He's just so far ahead. T1 pushing down here. We'll get this tier two that they look for. 30 seconds on that dragon. I think they go in. And usually RNG isn't a team that would just be wiped out. Isn't a team that would just give up, but Zeus off on the side. Shahu getting knocked down, but Zeus still standing strong for now. Looking for the third Q. Looking to snap back. He doesn't have the third Q to escape though. Gala can finish the kill instantly. That is the trade back, one for one in the end. Versus LNG, They're, like we've seen them come back from these deficits so often, but this one is, looks like the writing is on the wall as T1 again pick up another dragon. Faker in the darkness, breathing way in the area. Has the blast gun, still wants to go in, still wants a little bit more, he thinks he can one-shot him. Aatrox healing coming in clutch, Faker getting locked up, can they finish oh. the kill? Yes, yes he can, perfect execution. Coming through there, carry in the era, area, now ready to deny them. Going for way, Faker, absolute madman. Going in, owner coming in as well, Gumiushi locking him down on the backside. T1 looking to slaughter RNG, looking to take every single thing away from them. Faker has fallen, but T1 are standing strong. To fight back now is RNG. Your entire composition revolves around you flying face first into T1, and they're a 1 4. They're sacrificing bot lane because they know that RNG will overload and look for a pick. So they want to keep pressure on two lanes. Faker's pushing in mid, T1's pushing in top, and they can rotate between the back out. I think RNG are trying to get the Tom Kenshi eat so that Shaohu Sejuani ult can land onto Gumiushi as the next follow up, but they hit Locking Faker. Up, hitting Faker now, trying to take Faker out of the fight entirely. Soraka healing already coming down. Carrier leaping out of the infernal chains, double stuns. Say oh, going in! It is massive! T1, blood in the water, they're ready to pursue, they're ready to end this game. T1, hungry for more. One last kill, a few more to follow. And it is not with a bang, but a whimper that RNG will exit Worlds as they are slaughtered in their own bases. T1 look to bring it home. They are not satisfied with old rivalries and fourth seeds. They want number one. They want a shot at the best in the LPL. They want a semi-final, and they will get it as they face JDG in Atlanta as they break RNG and cross the finish line in the quarterfinals.